Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I started my YouTube channel to document my journey becoming a single mother by choice and going through IVF as well as getting diagnosed with endometrial cancer and PCOS. So if any of those topics appeal to you at all, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell if you wanna get notified every time I upload new videos. So um, <clears throat> I wanted to dedicate this video to the infamous progesterone and oil injections. If you are in the IVF community, you already know about these. Um, and if you are not, basically most women dread them. Um, they are the worst of the injections apparently because they are intramuscular injections. They go in deep into the muscle um, and they have to um, go into your, basically your hip. Um, area. So it makes it a little bit difficult to do it on your own versus the injections that you have to do for the egg retrieval, which are in your stomach. Those are subcutaneous, tiny little needles, super thin needles. The progesterone and oil needles are thicker, longer. Um, so they're a little bit more feared um, by women. So I have been doing them now for 11 days. Today was my 11th PIO shot, um, and I have 46 more to go. If I'm pregnant, hopefully, which I think I am. I just have this great feeling. Um, but my frozen embryo transfer was this past Monday, um, January 4th. Today I am five days past five day embryo, uh, five day frozen transfer. Um, and I will do another video on the symptoms, lack of symptoms, whatever that I'm experiencing during the two week wait. Um, this video, I just wanted to focus on the progesterone and oil injections. Um, so I filmed myself on the very first day that I had to start these injections, um, kind of fumble through the process, but I just wanted to document it just so you can see you know, how I handled it on the very first day. Um, so forgive the sloppiness of the video a little bit, but I just um, like filmed myself getting the shot already um, in the morning and then doing it on my couch. I laid down on my couch and I have found um, that that is working for me. So I'm gonna insert that footage here and then we will talk about it. Okay guys, first progesterone and oil shot. I have my progesterone and oil, the syringe that I use to withdraw the liquid, um, or I should say the needle and the syringe. And then that is the injecting needle. I have an alcohol wipe. I do not have any gauze pads. So um, I just have a tissue for that. And right now I'm heating up um, a one of those like corn heating bag things um, that I'm gonna warm up my muscle with before injecting. So um, I'm going to let you guys know how it goes and show you as much as I can. Okay, so first thing I'm supposed to do is remove this cap and wipe the top with an alcohol pad. I already washed my hands. Injecting needle out of the package and the syringe. I'm doing one milliliter. That is my heating pad. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back a little bit past one. Push the air in. Put 
this over, make sure the tip of the syringe is in, and pull back to one. Or I think I'm supposed to pull back a little bit past one, and then make sure there's no bubbles, and push it to exactly one. And then I remove this needle. Does that just go back on there? It doesn't seem to go. So it just sits on there. My heating pack on. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it's hot. Maybe that's too hot. I don't know. All right, and then I'm gonna put. It's a little hot. I'm gonna let that cool off a little. Okay, and the injecting needle, which thank goodness is a lot smaller than this needle. And I am going to warm this up by putting it under my arm for a little bit. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this. Um, and I had this uh, heating pad on, like it's a little bit uh, red because it's kind of warm. Um, but I just heard that it's good to warm up your muscles. Some people ice. Um, I'm choosing to warm up the muscle because. This is oil, and I would think that oil going into a cold muscle um, would just make the oil solidify. So I'm warming it up, and then I'm gonna warm it up afterwards too. But I'm gonna try this laying down. So let's see, I'm gonna try to put, and this is Lily being my little support animal. I wish you could do this for me, Lily. Can you do this for me? Put a pillow between my legs and so you need to stay above the butt crack and in the outer quadrant so I'm gonna go like right around here um, alcohol this up supposed to oh man that's a big needle I know this is only the one inch and most people do the one and a half inch but I'm glad I just have the one inch okay how am I gonna do this spread the skin all right here we go wasn't bad. Oh, I'm supposed to pull back to see if any blood. No blood. So it's very hard to push in because it's so thick. I've heard that. Okay guys, this really was not that bad. People make you really scared of these shots and freak out. Now I'm supposed to hold it 10 seconds. All right, and I do not have any gauze pads, so I just have just a little drop of blood, not bad, and I'm gonna massage it for a little bit. I can't believe I did it. Oh. I'm so glad that's over. So I'm gonna massage it for a little bit and then put heat back on. Okay. 
feel better about this. It's not gonna be bad. So as you can see, um, I really don't think they're that bad, guys. Like, I really don't think you should freak out about it. Um, I don't know if I just have a really high pain tolerance because of everything I've been through with the cancer. I'm just so used to needles. I've been poked so many times over the last year. Um, and I've always had like a higher pain tolerance with other things. For some reason, I like getting piercings, like my ear piercings and stuff. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. But um, I will say it, it is a mind game. Like every, every morning when I do it, it's not like it's a piece of cake or anything. I do have to, like when I look at the needle and I'm getting it ready to go in, like I've noticed that if I'm not quick about it, like the past couple days, I've kind of just kind of like put it in slowly. Don't do that. <laughs> definitely better to put it in quickly um and I really feel like the heat heating before and heating after and putting the syringe under your arm for a few minutes to warm up the oil I think those are all um really working for me um I will say that I was kind of shocked at how sore my hips were I don't know why I just wasn't expecting that to happen so quickly I knew that since you're doing them for potentially you know, up until 10 weeks of pregnancy. Um, I figured that like, you know, you're doing this week after week, every single day. I assumed after a while that um, your hips would start to get sore, but I didn't think that it would happen like right away. So I will say like the first day, even the first day, um, maybe an hour later, a couple hours later, I was like, oof. Like, I feel like I had a really good like glute workout um, just on the one side. Um, and the first, I'd say like up till like, like the first five days, my hips were pretty sore, but I'm used to being sore from working out. Um, so it really wasn't like a new feeling for me. Um, and for whatever reason, like the past, like, I'd say, yeah, I'd say the past five or six days of doing them, I am not as sore. So I don't know if you just kind of get used to the soreness and you get like acclimated to it or accustomed to it and then you just don't really feel it anymore. But like even like pressing on it right now, like they don't really hurt. So maybe it just like in the beginning, it hurts a little bit. And maybe like once you continue on and keep doing them week after week, they might get more sore. But as of right now, I'm what? not quite two weeks into doing the injections and uh, the soreness has definitely subsided quite a bit. And yeah, so takeaway from this is if you wanna try my method, heat before um, with, you know, one like a heating pad or one of those like corn bags in the microwave, um, heat the area for, I, I heat it for at least five minutes before so it gets nice and warm. Um, and warm up the oil in the um, syringe ahead of time. Um, and oh, and massage. Yeah, massage. I massage for at least two minutes afterwards. So I really think that those tips are helping me. Um, so hopefully they'll help you too. And all I can say is if I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it by myself, like you can do it. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a good night or day wherever you are watching this, whenever you're watching this, and um, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. I hopefully will be posting, I think I've decided that I'm going to take um, an at-home pregnancy test, maybe even tomorrow, which would be six days post-transfer. I've been watching YouTube uh, videos a lot the past couple days. A lot of women start testing at like five days post-transfer, six days post-transfer and get a faint line. Um, if I don't get a line, I'm not gonna freak out because I know it's really early, but I might start testing tomorrow. And if I do, I will film it um, and I will absolutely share it all with you. So. Thank you again for all of your support. Um, really just blows me away how awesome you all are and how sweet you all are. And I will see you very soon. Bye.